Hey guys, welcome to day two of Volkswagen week because we are featuring all the new Volkswagens and today we've got the opposite of a hot hatch. Tommy, what's that? Well, it's a hot sedan. In this case, the Volkswagen Jetta GLI, the refreshed model. And in this video, we are going over the GLI. We're gonna take it for a spin and talk about everything you need to know. Yeah, this has always been kind of the underground, the in the know vehicle if you wanted a sedan that was, well, in the body of a hot hatch or is it the soul of a hot hatch in the body of a sedan it was one of my favorite vehicles and for a long time it was actually very affordable it was kind of the uh, sports car bargain because you take the powertrain and you take the transmission out of the gti and you put it into a four-door sedan that gives you well a lot more room and a lot more space so let's give them a walk around and show them what Volkswagen has done to refresh this new GLI, Tommy. Well, so the manual transmission, $30,995. The automatic, $31,795. Of course, that being the DSG. But we need to start with the heart of the beast, which just like the GTI, is a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, transversely mounted, and it makes 228 horsepower, um, right around 250 pound-feet of torque it is an absolute gem of a unit it makes good power pretty much everywhere throughout its rev range it likes to rev but it also likes to be lugged one of the best engines in a performance sedan i think in recent years really like this little tsi engine yeah i mean let's face it tommy a four banger turbo has been the standard for performance in this category for a long time and when you add these three letters down here the gli then you get a car that is not only practical but fun now one of the new things that volkswagen has done for all of their models is this honeycomb shape right there you'll see this pretty much in all of their new vehicles it's a design language that they're using uh, and this car it's not quite as obvious as it is in the gti that we reviewed yesterday and in the golf R that we're reviewing tomorrow but let's Give them a walk around and show them how much trunk space there is. All right, so um, they did update the front fascia a little bit. So it's got a new bumper, it's got a new grill, a lot more red. So you'll notice like down here, uh, these uh, air scoops have now red surrounds regardless of the color. These are, are rolling on hand cooked tires. In this case, I want to get the wheel size exactly right. 225 45 R18s with, of course, the red brake calipers. Have which you look. What, have you noticed what Volkswagen is also doing? They're putting Volkswagen in the B pillar, Tommy. You look at that. Yes. You gave me a time. You gave me the like. This is stupid. Look. Well, we were talking about brakes, and then you you derail my train of thought here, Dad. All right. So there's a the trunk space. So of course we do have the gooseneck hinges. Pretty decent room. Um, certainly you do see a little bit of cost cutting with some of the fit and finish under here, uh, especially like the roof of the trunk. But uh, seats do fold down at the pull of a lever over here, and when you close the trunk, check out the new rear end with. Bam, more prominent exhaust pipes. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it up to you, Tommy. You're right, you were talking about performance and I jumped in with a silly little, um, well, Volkswagen badge. Let me do the vroom vroom for you. See what the 2.0 sounds like. It's nice having real exhaust exits on a Volkswagen. So it's got a little bit of a burble now in the back. Of course, you've got these stylish angular taillights. I do like this continuous crease along the side of the car. Of course, sunroof, not a full glass roof, but decent sized sunroof. And let's take a peek on the inside. All right. So what do you think, Dad? I think I'm going to pull it into the shade so we have even light. How about that? Sounds good to me. Does that work for you? Oh, look at that. Electronic brake automatically came off when I put it in first gear. How nice is that? So the great thing about this car is that it still has, unlike the GTI and the Golf R, um, basically the last generation infotainment. So instead of having this all be buttonless and knobless, you get things like a volume knob, Tommy. You get things like a tuning knob. You get things like regular controls for your HVAC. Um, and of course, uh, you get this big, fat, chunky steering wheel. Uh, which, uh, to my mind, is one of the pleasures of driving any of these vehicles. I, I think Volkswagen does some of the best steering wheels, uh, and this is no exception. You, of course, do get uh, the touch controls here on the steering wheel for volume. So they have 
went to the newer steering wheel. Uh, you were telling me that when you were driving the GTI, you kept turning on the heated steering wheel every time you made a turn because you would brush up against this. I'm not a huge fan of these haptic controls. I don't think it worked in Cadillac. I don't think it works in uh, Volkswagen, but it's the way of the world. Well, luckily, Dad, you won't have that issue with the GLI because there's no heated steering wheel. Oh, so <laughs> that problem solved. But you're right. I do love, like, for example, the hard controls for the dual zone automatic climate control, the heated seats, the ventilated seats, by the way. Um, it's all very easy to use. And then, like you mentioned, it does have the older version of the Volkswagen radio system, which I also think is easier to use than the newer one and also a little bit quicker and more responsive. So overall, a very good system. But in general, Dad, the interior is you know, very basic in its color palette. So we do see some red streaks across this little panel here. Um, I do like the little, yes, you're right, the little door panels are super nice. They're stitched and, and beautiful. But the, then there's scratchy plastics. Yeah, some of this is kind of chintzy, same thing down here. Uh, the seats are really good though, excellent seats all around. Yeah, if I lean forward, you can show them. They're kind of cool, they're perforated and they've got kind of red uh, integrated into the design of the seat. It's really nice. But you know, these cars really are all about how they drive. So let me turn on your cooled seat since we've turned the HVAC off so it doesn't blow into our faces. Uh, so let's see how it drives. We're here uh, just outside of Asheville. Um, and uh, we've got some beautiful roads, Tommy. Just absolutely spectacular roads. You're good on my side. Yeah. And I want to see what, you know, makes this such a fun driving machine. So um, obviously six speed manual. Thank God Volkswagen is still doing manuals. I love that. Uh, and this is a very good manual. Uh, a little bit on the uh, rubbery side, but for the most part, uh, easy to engage. The clutch is super light. Uh, the brakes are confidence inspiring. And the engine, wow, well, the engine, dude. Oh, not quite as snappy as that in the GLI, but oh my God, is this thing buttoned down? You know, this, this is what makes driving fun. And this is what obviously makes this car such an outstanding bargain because what you're getting is like I said a hot hatch spirit in the body of a sedan well and I, those are far and few between I do want to talk about what you mentioned so you are down on power compared to the newest generation of Golf GTI the uh, the GLI you know 228 but it's still 220 horsepower this is not a low powered machine uh, of course driving the front wheels and it does have an impressive amount of performance it really does um, give you a nice little shove in the back of the seat as you take off down the road so I love that about this car and uh, not too much torque steer either they've done a really good job of managing the torque steer yeah and look at these look at that cool oh yeah <laughs> Wow, 30 pounds of boost. Yeah, and I just exceeded the speed limit that quick, so I better slow down. Uh, even though this is a car that just begs you to go quickly, begs you to find a twisty road like this. It's and it's not quite as tossable as the GTI. I mean, it does feel like a, a slightly longer beast um, when, when the going gets, gets you know, really twisty. What do you think of the digital gauge cluster? I love it, actually. I love this digital gauge cluster. I think it uh, uh, works uh, because it's not, you know, not too much information. I've got the most important things I need. So I've got my uh, gear selector. So it tells me what gear I'm in. It tells me the speed limit. It tells me the RPM. And here's some fun performance facts if I really want to go and. Yeah, there's also a way to configure them too. So you can kind of change what they're displaying. Yeah, o overall, you know, this is a car that puts a big smile on my face. I think it's uh, kind of the best of both worlds now. It, it still has the kind of the older system where it's not getting in the way of the driving dynamics but at the same time um, you know it still is a hoot to drive um, I do miss the regular handbrake I think on, on cars like this uh, the electronic brakes are not as good all right you want to hop in the back seat too we can try to see what the back seat room is like yeah. four traditional doors so I'm sitting behind myself Tommy and look at this I've got plenty of headroom I could I could spend some time back here uh, and keep in mind, once again, I'm about 6'2", so, you know, I'm a rather tall guy, thick as my mom would say, or your grandma, but I could see, like, uh, going on a road trip in this vehicle and not feeling like I'm in the penalty box as I'm sitting in the back seat. All right. Let's go ahead and close this one up. So I'm a real fan of the GLI. I know maybe it doesn't get the same media attention as its GTI brother, but still an incredible, incredible value, I think. Super fun to drive. Great engine. Overall, a winner. Yeah, let's face it. These cars are going away. Uh, they're being replaced by electric 
motors instead of gasoline powered engines uh and uh, we're you know we're living in this interesting time where we're transitioning from one form of uh, automotive uh, power to another uh and if you really love what's going away you should seriously look at this car and tommy what are we reviewing tomorrow tomorrow's the golf r so be sure to come back for that and as always this has been tommy and roman with the fast lane car check out tflcar.com for the latest and greatest in volkswagen reviews